A scene in one of the outskirts, still unattacked but in danger. White as Prime. In an unknown construction ship falling under the enemy radar. The young Emperor sibling, the survivor, Nautilus, with the crew and a few hundred Nautiloids have assembled on that ship. Must it end so? Nautilon has left us to destruction. We have not done enough. We should have purged more. Why could I not have been born earlier? Nautilon, forgive. This is the end, my loyals. Or is there still hope in you? Your Majesty, there's that black hole still. The one we captured. Do you remember? The hole in the maelstrom. We must fly there at once. No one has ever dared to do it. Too high of a risk. We could have all died. But maybe this is Nautilon's way of telling us. It's do or die this time. The long journey of the Nautiloids has come to a close. Not in ascension, but in a flight to the rim of the galaxy they hurry. We have made a difference. We have mattered. Through us many worlds have been made safer. Many planets clean and close to paradise. We have fought many battles and won. We have made cunning plans and taken the price. We have been a part of this great adventure in the cold and dangerous space. Now, at last, all our vigor, all our talent and genius cannot help us anymore. Our power is for fate. Our priests of Nautilon in full flight. Our fleets are shattered, they hover among the stars and tell of a story that seems to have ended. Look at our works, you mighty, and despair. A shattered visage of former power lingers unforgotten. Colossal buildings unexplainable to the outsiders rest on the planets left by the Nautiloids, retreating to their shells, mysteriously disappearing as if a strange extra-dimensional force made them dissolve into an enigmatic energy only visible when its light traces travel to the multitude of suns and beyond, to a black hole on the rim of the galaxy. Round the decay of colossal shells of the deceased war beasts of the Nautiloids, you can still hear a whispering out of the mouths of the shells telling of glorious times. But then, the lone and level sands stretch far away in the deserts of Neptulus. Now, they, we, travel again. They want to, will adapt to a new galaxy in time they hope to find. Their god Nautilon, they don't know where he is now. Is he still on Neptulus, they wonder? Sleeping his eternal sleep? Is he with them, a being of energy? guiding their journey to another space, another time, another chance for the great coming? This, though, is another story that will be told out of the graves of the eternal blackness, where maybe a new beginning will start in a universe not yet dreamt of, in the cold emptiness of space.